With the release of Flare 2019, we're excited to support publishing directly to Zendesk with the new Madcap Connect for Zendesk plugin. With the plugin, you can publish your single sourced Flare content directly to your Zendesk guide, eliminating the need to copy, paste, and manually reformat content in Zendesk. You can map your Flare TOC to categories and sections you've created in Zendesk. And you can preserve all the styling created and maintained in Flare, including dynamic links such as drop downs and pop ups. So let's take a look at how this plugin works. The first thing I'm going to do is install Flare with the plugin. And when I do, what's available to me is a new uh, destination type, which is the Madcap Connect for Zendesk. So when the plug is in installed, I'll have this option available to me here in the type. Once I select Madcap Connect for Zendesk, I can log into Zendesk with my credentials. And once I've successfully logged in, additional options will become available to me here to configure. I also want to tell Flare what topics are destined for Zendesk. So I've created a separate table of contents and structured it to match the structure of how Zendesk manages their navigation. So Zendesk has categories, sections, and articles. So in my Flare TOC, my top level books can map to categories, my second level books can map to sections, and my topics can map to articles. The last thing I'm going to do is create a special target for Zendesk publishing. So I'll choose an output type. In this case, I'm choosing HTML5. I want to preserve not only my styling, but some of the dynamic linking as well. I'll tell the target the table of contents I want to use. In other words, what topics do I want published there and in the order that I want. In my skin, since Zendesk is going to be the presentation layer, I set my skin to none. We're not going to be using a Flare skin because we'll be designing that in Zendesk. I can assign whatever conditional tags I want included or excluded for this publishing exercise. And if I want to, of course, make any variable overrides necessary. Finally, I'm going to go to my publishing tab and ensure that that Zendesk destination that I created is selected. And then the last step is to click the publish button. After it's published, after a couple seconds, what we'll see is all of our content published directly to our Zendesk guide. So my top level book became a category. And we can see the various second level books that I had created in my TOC. And if I drill into one of the articles, this is all of my topic content. My thumbnail images are preserved. My drop down text is preserved. My styling is preserved, as well as dynamic pop up effects such as this one here. So we hope you enjoy this new feature of publishing directly to Zendesk with the new Madcap Connect for Zendesk plugin.